The humanitarian situation in Ukraine, of course, a uh, very front of mind for you on the Polish-Ukrainian border. Uh, and interesting to think about the, the, the way that, sad to think about, the way that the numbers of, uh, of, of, uh, of refugees will just increase, given what Maria was pointing to, the bombing of Lviv, more bombing of Lviv in the west of Ukraine, which is something that we've, yes, we've seen, but not seen much of. Yes, so something that's important to see here, Anna, is that before people start coming into uh, Poland and other European nations, there are three million people who've already arrived in Poland and other European nations as refugees from Ukraine. But there are almost two million Ukrainians that have been internally displaced, trying to flee areas like uh, the areas that have been encircled around Mariupol, for instance, have been trying to get further inland and try to get away from these Black Sea ports that have been hit badly by shelling. And or a lot of these people go through Lviv. A lot of the refugees who I speak to who came from uh, uh, places that have dealt with heavy shelling have gone through these cities in Western, Pol in Western Ukraine, such as Lviv, before heading into Poland. So it's concerning as well that there, is no, there are often places that were considered safer refuges within the country that potentially aren't as safe going forward.